Welcome back. Today I'll be going through the champions of League of Legends and seeing which of their skins are the scariest. Again, I say it's the mecha one because it's not doing his abs justice. My God, is this guy hot. Oh, this is a tough one. Has to be this one. It's covering her eyes. Her eyes are amazing. That's hot. Not scary. That's hot. That is really hot. That's kind of hot for a different reason. Okay, I have to say Infernal for no other reason than I'm trying to figure out which is the least hottest. And ironically, the hottest is the least hottest. So, and also it will burn a lot if you try to touch her. So that is also why it's terrifying. Nothing's more terrifying than a man with too much drip. I guess Moo Cow? Nothing against the skin. It's just the whole image is unsettling to me. So that would be the scariest. Nothing is more scary than depression. Actually, there is one. Being emo and depressed. Is there something scarier than that? Yeah, being emo depressed and got rejected. Okay, definitely this one. Something designed to turn you into a furry. Nothing is more terrifying than a child. Okay, this is the scariest skin for him. Only because... They're showing what his abs look like. Why the hell are you hiding his abs in the other skins? It's not fair. This is an easy one. Why are you covering her amazing thighs? I've seen a lot of Godzilla to know what will happen here. Is he a chicken? What's scarier than a chicken? A chicken in charge of its own army. I don't know. There's something about the mustache on the teacup that's throwing me off. Is that his actual blood or is that tea you can actually drink? But if you drink it, would that kill him? I have too many questions for this one image alone. Hot. I have to say this one. I'm not a big fan of eyes and this one has a lot of eyes, but she's still hot. Smash. You're not fooling anyone with this. I don't like zombies. Buff Santa. That is all. Either one will do. It's just the teeth. Although she is pretty cute. I don't know what to pick. Okay, I've decided this one because it has the most armor on. I have to say this one because she's basically saying I will step on you, but I don't think I want her to step on me. Actually, I think I do want her to step on me. I think the real fear here is discovering you're into snake girls. Crap. You can see the fear in his face when he discovered that death isn't the end. He's just forever running around as a skeleton. Two words, flying manatees. Oh, this is a difficult one. Falling in love with your bully. Look at him. I chose this one because I want to be this person being drowned by her. Is that a messed up thing to say? I don't know anymore. This is actually just a genuine scary skin. Imagine waiting to be executed and this is what appears. There's no way. Nothing's more terrifying than that look. Imagine going to school with that haircut. Oh, mama. I would say this one because it actually shows ice spiders and the ice spiders are pretty creepy. Also, they are kind of cute. Sweet mama. I would say the original because it doesn't do her any justice because hot oh, damn. Being a show off in football. Imagine that popping out of your birthday cake. This one. This is Fiora's scariest skin. Mainly because I wish I had a teacher like her in school. I think maybe the teeth is throwing me off. But nothing's more terrifying than whatever that monstrosity behind them is. Any person willing to wear this chicken suit. Originally, I was going to say Ghost Pirate. But something about the toy soldier is making me feel uneasy. Like a soul is trapped in this pose forever. I don't know why, but this whole image screams try hard to me. Anything that is willing to eat that cute penguin. Um, sexy pose, Santa? The mustache is the scariest bit about this whole thing. I think this one, it seems too sugary and sweet for my liking. What the hell are those things? I'm thinking this. Some centaur minotaur hybrid, which is very confusing to me for some reason. Honestly speaking, this is just freaky to me. Something about the whole head being a brain and the eyes glowing. This is definitely scary. Look, I still wanted to crush me, but it's the teeth. Also the giant thing behind her, but it's mainly the teeth. I don't know if I have a scary skin for her. I guess this one, because of the fire, that will hurt. And her eyes are glowing. This is just way too much candy for my liking. Only reason, this would actually get me to pay attention to the news. Because he's covering up his body and his face. Dude's pretty hot. Show it off more. <laughs> I'm only choosing this one for the name Jaximus. I have to choose this one because he looks unbearable to go to school with. There's always something about the goblin look that is terrifying. Not sure if it's the pointy chin or the long nose. Ah, oh, this is going to be a tough one. Sometimes crazy is hot. Who is more likely to shoot me? I think Crime City Jinx. I would say this is the scariest because this one is most likely to shoot me. I would say it's the original because it's not doing his abs justice compared to these two. Bullet Angel, it's got the most armor. Okay, this definitely looks like something out of my nightmares. Nothing's more terrifying than having a head detached from its body. But that is sick though. Nothing's more terrifying than heavy metal. I'm joking, I'm joking. But all seriousness, if the Statue of Liberty came to life and started wrecking stuff, that'd be pretty terrifying. If not, then the Grim Reaper. A vampire who can't bite because they're wearing a face mask. 
What's the point of being a vampire if you're not gonna bite anybody, huh? If no vampire can't bite, then tentacles. Definitely just the tentacles. Someone trying to turn you into a furry and it's actually working. Beautiful, yet creepy. It has something to do with the artwork as well, but I don't know what it is. I would have to say this is the scariest. This one, it's covering too much of his skin. Free the nipples, free the arms, free the abs. This is the worst combination. It's a furry, but it's also the size of a child. Okay, this thing looks like it could rip me apart and the teeth is not helping with the situation. Nothing's more scary than a furry. Back to what I said before, it's the size of a child and it's a furry. Also, the teeth aren't helping. Okay, I know the type of fish they took inspiration from and that thing terrifies me in general. But you add the teeth, the eyes, whatever that mouth is, and it's a whole new kind of nope. Okay, look, I could not choose a single skin of hers because they're all so hot. I'd have to choose this one because the pumpkin looks like it's crying. Or this because it's going to make me start liking holograms. I would have to say Godfist because he's the only one with his eyes not covered. I'm only saying barbecue Leona because of what she's doing to that sausage. Turning more people into furries. I guess space group because wearing a lava lamp doesn't seem pleasant. Bro, he is too badass for his own good. It's the size of a child. But something about this face is just creepy. I have to do a serious one for Lux because imagine the power to destroy a planet. Look how happy she is doing it compared to this. She's so sad trying to protect it. But then she's so happy destroying it. Okay, a walking black hole is terrifying. <laughs> it's just the name Biza, huh? And look how angry some of these bees are. This skin, this goalkeeper skin. It's nothing more terrifying than seeing people cheat in football. He's a walking goalpost. How are you supposed to score? Bro has two eyes and nothing covering it. This is definitely terrifying. I'm used to his face covered with multiple eyes. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Nothing is more terrifying than a child. Oh Jesus, I don't know what to choose. I have to choose this skin because every other skin, I want her to step on me. If I knew that there was a giant being wielding a massive ax hammer thing with a black hole in his chest, I'd be terrified. I'd be constantly terrified knowing that exists. I'd be terrified too if I burnt all my cookies. Neither of these are terrifying. I guess because I like the color more on this one, that automatically makes this one scarier. Actually, yeah, I would say that because that looks sharper. Turning people into fish furries. I don't know if that's an actual thing. It's like the snake lady when you find out that you want to do a mermaid, but like a fish person mermaid, and it's actually working. I feel like the more I try and explain it, the weirder it gets. Undead furry. Anything to do with the ocean, either underwater or above. Imagine just sailing on the seas and this appears. I swear this came out of one of my nightmares. Add another point to the furry list. I don't know what to choose. French made um. I would say the cat suit, because um, I don't know, something about furries again. Why is she so hot? I guess this would be the scariest, because do not mess with the ocean. I feel sorry for the guys on the ship. Same as before, there's just something about this whole image in general that's just unsettling to me. It's a child. <laughs> it's just <laughs> uh, it's just the name bro loft to me okay no seriousness you don't have to be that ripped and that intense when you're cutting meat okay creepy doll creepy doll creepy creepy doll i'm getting Coraline flashbacks oh she has actually quite a few creepy ones actually some of them are all right yeah this those first few are really creepy it's just a really heavily muscled furry anyone that jacked who can bake a pie that perfect it's the size of a child and it kind of looks emo as well. And the doll look is actually pretty scary. Anything to do with underwater in the ocean? Automatically scary. Do not mess with the ocean, just avoid it. I don't know which skin for this one. I want all of them to step on me and insult me. I guess this one, because everything else, I want her to step on me. Where would you get a phoenix from? A simp. Finding out that your father was Bowser. I don't even know what you are. Ah, oh, the teeth. It's always the teeth for me. This one, because I don't know why she's dressed as a magical girl when she looks so badass and everything else. She's giving me off evil scientist vibes. It's pretty hot, but compared to her other skins, I think this is terrifying. That and being a general. Actually, this might be more terrifying, but I do want her to step on me. Reptile furry. There are just so many furries. You know how dangerous it is putting bunny ears and a bunny tail on her? That's borderline furry. That's how you trick people into turning them into furries. I would know. It works on me. More child-sized furries. An old man dressed as Uncle Sam. Bro, she is so hot. I want her to step on me. Not that terrifying. She's pretty hot. Step on me. But imagine seeing her and then seeing this giant ball next to her. This is what's terrifying. This one right here. It's the glowing red eye. It's whatever's glowing on her chest. It's this whole outfit looking down on you. This brings fear into your soul and kind of turns you on at the same time. Magical girls. After you've seen Madoka Magica, you cannot look at magical girls the same. More borderline furries. Because it's borderline, it's okay to get away with, but you're so close to the rabbit hole. And it works because damn, he looks hot. 
I don't like clowns to begin with, so that's scary. That's definitely scary. That's creepy. Oh, that is not okay to me. So creepy. Terrifying. Eh, that's all right. Oh, yep, that is not. That's probably scary. That's probably the scariest one. Okay, that's fine. Nope, that is even worse than the one before. That's actually pretty badass. Underwater, terrified. Nope, don't deal with underwater, but I hate clowns. Oh, the art is sick, but that smile will be in my nightmares. That's fine. Imagine fighting and seeing this. This is the epitome of fear in a battle. I would say this because it doesn't do her justice. She's a hottie. Show off her abs. She has no abs in this image. Give her more abs. Actually, that, is that her rib cage? Was that armor? I think I'll stick to this being the scariest. An old man who deals with poison and is a scientist. Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks are terrifying in their own right. This one, if there was a pizza delivery driver that looked like her nearby, I would not stop ordering pizza and I'd spend too much money. Oh, monster scorpion, monster scorpion. Scorpions are terrifying in its own right, but add the teeth and the giant ass baba. Nothing is scarier than Christmas music. Mariah Carey is to blame for that. There's something about this skin, mainly because it's missing her horn. And I'm so used to Soraka with the horn. Which skin screams more evil villain? Probably this one or this one. A lot of these screamed, I just saw the raven with the three eyes. This is the scariest. Okay, bro is hot, but this is not doing any justice for his abs. Do not mess with anything ocean related. Okay, it's either reptile, whatever this monstrosity is. I do not like the look of the tentacle or even his regular. Either way, he's just not a fun thing to look at in general. Why would you go anywhere near the water with a robot? Or this, because I don't trust magical girls. Every other skin, he's badass. I just don't like the look of just the blonde with the ears. This is scary. I would not trust him with my life at the beach. Anything that looks like a child or resembles a child. It's underwater. It's a huge monstrosity. And if I saw it, it would add to my list of reasons to never go into the ocean. Okay, yeah, that face is creepy. Now, this is the only thing I'm going to say about this skin for Trundle. It is way too hot. It's the pose. It's the look. The way the sun is shining on his abs. Too hot for him. That's what makes it terrifying. Just imagine seeing this. Like, what would you do? What would you do in a scenario where you saw this walking up to you? I'd probably run because I knew if I tried to fight, I would be slaughtered. Twisted Fate is too hot for his own good, but then this skin exists. It's terrifying why they gave him a bowler hat with that mustache. There it is. It's forever going to be stuck in my brain of how scary it looks. It's just the details that go into the mouth and teeth. Wait, <laughs> what? It's at the stop. I got so thrown off with this. <laughs> uh, that is horrifying. That's the scariest. That that is all I need to see to say nope. Just nope. What do they do? Respect he's wearing so little compared to everything else where he barely shows any skin. It's so out of place. That's what makes it scary. Bane's one of the tricky ones. Because I can't say this one. Because elves are hot. Maybe Battle Bat, because I just don't know what makes her a bat. Maybe Soul Stealer. I think I'm gonna leave it at Soul Stealer as the scariest. Even then, I wouldn't complain if she tried to steal my soul. Child with a beard like an old man. Whoa, I was about to continue on and then I saw the eyes on this one. Maybe this would be more terrifying. Again, it's this image that keeps on throwing me off and terrifying, but then I realized that they got a fake mustache and everything. Pretty unsettling, mainly because this amplifies it all the time. Oh, what am I looking at? That is sick. Because I like the other skin, so by process of elimination, something about this would be scary. It's the furriness. I forgot it's a furry and the size of a child. Okay, she can kick my ass any day, but I guess the most scary skin would be the demon one, but I'll still allow her to kick my ass. Okay, he looks like a tool. Therefore, this is the scariest skin. Because everything else, he's just a badass. But the summoning circle, it's got the eye shooting a laser beam and it's got the no body thing. It works. If that's not scary, that's hot. That's not scary, that's hot. Oh, that is scary. I think we have a winner. Yep, we definitely have a winner with that one. Another reason to turn people into a furry. A furry wearing a furry suit. This is really creepy to me for some reason. I think it's all the details on the fur or the mad monkey face. Unless I can find something else. Something about more human than monkey is definitely scary. He's the simp, but because she's the reason he's a simp, that's just as bad. Okay, because out of everything, this is the only one with a body. That makes it out of place. But the fact you can see the body shrouded by ethereal stuff, kind of scary. Not gonna lie. Also, the horns and the eyes is not helping the situation. Okay, they had no reason to give this man a suit, glasses, and a badass pose. But I have to say this would be the scariest because he's helping a child. Never trust children. Only one thing that scares me about this whole image. Why the hell did they turn his sword into a gun as well? Why give him bullets when it's a sword? The longer I look at this image, the more questions I have. This original one is terrifying. Why? It doesn't give him justice for how hot he looks.
Originally, I was gonna say probably this because he's wearing a fairy suit. But when I first saw Yorick, I thought this was his crotch, just the way it's positioned. And that terrified me. So automatically, this is the scariest skin. Cats are just pure evil. Do not trust a single kitty cat, no matter how cute they look. When you've seen enough isekais, you know that slimes are deadly and cannot be trusted. Why would you keep putting a helmet on this glorious hair? I guess this one because she's destroying a rose and we like flowers. The size of a child, mad scientist to boot. What's scarier than a child? An old man, especially one pretending to be Santa. And we're back to children being scary. This can't be the scariest because it's so hot. Honestly, the scariest skin to me will be wildfire because she's all about plants. So why would you want fire plants? And that was it. That was the scariest skins for each of the champions of League of Legends. Thanks for watching.